things magicians say when you ask, how did you do that? Disneyland edition. Whoa, how'd you do that? Very well, actually. One sponge ball splits into two. How did you do that? I don't have a life. Whoa, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? Can you keep a secret? Yeah. So can I. Well, I didn't know they had a magic shop here. Can you show me a magic trick real quick? Yeah, you wanna see something cool? Yeah. Check this out. I'm gonna show you something using the spirit lights. You see, all I do is I take a little ball of light out, it goes right through my ears, up my nose. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, go ahead and get rid of that one. But you can do it too. You want to try? Yeah, sure. Here, hold on to this for me. Go ahead and squeeze that in your hand. Try not to drop oh. it. You can even throw it right back into the glass there. Nice toss. It's like a light snack, you see? Oof. It goes right through me though. Want that back? Sure. You probably don't want that back. Don't worry. We'll go ahead and put that right back where it goes. And that, my friend, is the Spirit Lights. Didn't Steve Martin used to work here? Well, yes, he did. Let's talk about it. The Disneyland Magic Shop in Anaheim, California is where famous actor and comedian Steve Martin started his career, demoing and selling magic tricks to the guests. Though this isn't his first job at Disneyland, as he started at the newsstand at just the age of 10, handing out pamphlets to the guests for only $2 a day. You can find out more about Steve Martin's time at Disneyland in his book, Born Standing Up. Although the Magic Shop is most famous for Steve Martin, the Magic Shop is also famous for being one of the only stores in the park to remain largely unaltered in its original form. For more content like this, please be sure to like, share, and follow. Wow, magic! Can you show me a trick? Sure can. Do me a favor. Step close, place your hand flat. Now you've heard of that uh, new Star Wars Land Galaxy's Edge? Well, just like in that movie Star Wars, the Force. What? And what's really cool about this trick is it works with anything lightweight, even a quarter. Give it a little spin on the counter, whoosh, right to my hand. No way. Yes way. That is the UFO. Harry Potter at Disneyland? Story time. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Michael and I work right here at the Magic Shop at Disneyland. And there was, once upon a time, Harry Potter playing cards inside of the shop. But of course, as all good things that are ruined by people who have nothing better to do than to make clickbait articles online, too many people were accusing Disneyland of supporting Universal Studios by selling their merch. So unfortunately, you cannot get Harry Potter cards anymore. But it is 100% true we used to sell Harry Potter playing cards right here at the Disneyland Magic Shop. Let's go see a magic trick. Can you show me a magic trick? Of course, yeah. Go ahead and say stop for me whenever you're ready. Stop. Perfect. Take a look here. Got it. We're going to lose that card right inside the deck just like this. I snap and it jumps right to the top. Wait, do that again. Sure. Go ahead and say stop. Stop. Perfect. Right there. Wait, again? Yeah, watch like right back in the middle and right back to the top. Hold, it's hold actually on, a trick on. deck. A trick deck? Yeah, watch. Look, all those cards are nines. Wait, but I saw other cards in there too. Right. Well, if you cut your cards, you start to get your normal cards back. All right, hold on a minute. And of course, that whole deck goes right back to That down. is insane. That is our wonder deck right here. Here's a little magic story time for you. Disneyland edition. All right, so a couple of you guys have asked me, do you have any fun stories from when you worked at the Magic Shop at Disneyland, right? And I do have a few. Here's one of them in this video right now. I had a guest come in who was absolutely blown away by the magic. She thought it was so cool. She was probably like 15, 16 years old, something like that. And she goes and she gets her grandmother to come in because she wanted to show her some really cool magic, right? So I do the linking ring trick. You know the one I'm talking about where the two solid metal rings join together. I link the rings and I swear she gets so freaked out, she whips into her purse, pulls out a little vial of holy water, splashes it on me, calls me El Diablo, grabs her daughter by the hand, granddaughter, excuse me, by the hand, and runs out of the magic shop. And I'm just there like, 
I don't know what to do. And I just thought that it was the funniest thing that I've ever experienced up until that moment. Cool magic. Can you show me a cool trick? Yes, I can. I got my friend right here. His name is Tom. I'll do this really quickly, all right? Tom can do a trick himself where it looks like I got two Toms, but the secret is I actually have a Jerry. Legally distinct from the car paints, Tom and Jerry, but there's something else that's cool that they can do. I can pick Tom, put him in one hand. Jerry goes in the other, and with just a magic shake, they like each other so much it jumps over. Now, you seem a little suspicious. I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing. My secret is that I actually have a hidden Bob. So I'll tell you about Tom and Jerry, but Bob, he stays hidden down here, so you totally forget about him. So you would think I have two in my hand, but I told you you're going to forget about Bob. I'll do it one more time so you can watch really carefully. I take Bob and Tom, place them both in my hand, and Jerry goes down this time. You would think I would have two. You might think I have three, but actually this time I got none. That's our sponge balls we got right here for you. What? So you guys might be familiar with the magic shop here on Main Street, but did you know there used to be another magic shop at Disneyland? The original Disneyland magic shop was called Merlin's Magic and used to be located in Fantasyland just through the castle. Though it is no longer a magic shop, the shop is still there and is still magic themed. It's called Merlin's Marvelous Missling. It contains various gifts and souvenirs that are magic themed. And yes, of course, Steve Martin did used to work in this store as well.